Hi, this is a short video about next week's readings on the Black Ghetto and the New Jim Crow. These are the most difficult readings of the entire semester. I'm going to give you a few tips that I hope will help you navigate them. First, check the syllabus. Look at the framing questions. Look at the assignment. Second, don't worry. You're not responsible for the nuances of these authors' arguments. You're responsible for getting the main idea. So read with that in mind. Step back, ask what the main idea of each of these chapters or journal articles is, and come to class prepared to discuss that. The first reading is by Lois Bacant, a French sociologist. It's a journal article called From Slavery to Mass Incarceration. His argument is simple. It's in the first, chap first paragraph of his article. He believes that dominant American society has created successive institutions by which they can control and dominate African Americans. In particular, he identifies four such institutions, slavery, Jim Crow, the ghetto, and an amalgamation between the ghetto and the prison. Last week, I asked the question, why are we talking about penal farms if penal farms aren't prisons? Wakant well, offers an answer to that question. He sees penal farms as part of the Jim Crow apparatus by which African Americans were dominated by white Americans. This is an argument. You may not agree with it. Come to class prepared to discuss it and better understand it. In the last section of his article, Lawrence Wakant addresses why it is that this matters. He argues that these institutions have been created in order to perpetuate what he calls the social death of African Americans. I'll talk about what he means by that. The readings for Wednesday focus on the theme of the new Jim Crow. We'll be reading a chapter from Michelle Alexander's book called The New Jim Crow and a chapter by Marie Gottschalk's book called Caught, C-A-U-G-H-T. Michelle Alexander's book, I encourage you to read the chapters this way. First, focus on the sections, how it works, and mapping the parallels. Read those two sections first and then go back and read the entire chapter. In Marie Gottschalk's work, Focus on the sections, race and crime patterns, complexities of racial disparities, and leveling down. Then go back and read the entire chapter. It'll make much more sense to you. You don't have to read it very closely, but read it to generate the main idea. For Michelle Alexander, as you'll see, her thesis is that incarceration amounts to the new Jim Crow, and she uses Jim Crow in the same way that Wakant does, as an institution which is intended to deprive African Americans of power and, um, and civil rights. Marie Gottschalk has a different argument. She also opposes mass incarceration, but she believes that by looking too closely at race and at racial disparities within our current system, we lose ability to get to the more fundamental sources of what she calls the carceral state. For example, she believes that we will lose sight of the abuses that happen within prisons if we focus solely on racial disparities within the system. Finally, don't forget that the syllabus includes other assignments for Monday's section on the ghetto. All the authors for next week are really smart, really thoughtful, and very rigorous. It's going to be a challenging discussion. I'm looking forward to having it with you. Thanks.